4th of July with Selena Kyle, Wayne Manor, my father's house. I have lived here nearly as long as he did, and yet, I find myself still thinking of it as my father's house. Bruce, why do you stay in Gotham City? After my parents' deaths, I left, but I was drawn back. I made a promise to them. But of late, your episode with Poison Ivy, Harvey Dent accusing you of helping Falcone, what would it take to let go? Honestly? No. Lie to me. I know places, Bruce. Things we could do together. Hmm. Like that. What would it take to let go? I need to talk to you. Talk then. Harvey Dent, Gotham City's district attorney. A man I've known for some time. And I'm beginning to wonder if I know it all. Remember the deal we made? You, me, Jim Gordon. Right here. To bring down the Roman. I do. Do you? I made a mistake going after Bruce Wayne. Why tell me? I just wanted you to know I made mistakes. I try not to make them twice. But, after Moroni testifies against the Roman, it'll finally be over. I think I'm gonna take some time off. Get out of the city for a while. And holiday. He, or she, has struck again. Jimbo? Where? The docks. This time it's a civilian. Mr. Moroni, you have a visitor? I don't want to see nobody. But... Sal the Boss Moroni. Once the Roman's chief rival for control of Gotham City. Hello, Sal. Sophia Falcone Gigante, daughter of Carmine the Roman Falcone. Gotham City's untouchable crime lord, Vernon Fields, assistant to Harvey Dent. Vernon, go get a shoe shine. Does your father know you're here, Sophia? I went to prison for you, Sal. I didn't squawk, I didn't ask for anything in return. But when the police came for me, I didn't name you. That's you. I gotta do what's right for me. I missed you, Sal. Every night I was away, I thought about you. Mm. Papa knows it was Dent that got you into this mess. Without Dent, everybody lays off. I know you'll do the right thing, Sal. The home of Barbara and police captain Jim Gordon. Why do you stay in Gotham City, Barbara? Can't you see what it does to people who live here? Jim's work, I guess, Gilda. You know what I mean. Harvey is just as devoted as Jim. Now with the baby, we're digging in. Digging into hell. When Harvey first started at the district attorney's office, they used to call him Apollo, the golden boy. He was so handsome. He could do no wrong. But every day, this Roman case, it's like it's eating him from the inside out. He's changing. Do you think it will ever end, Barbara? Will I get my Harvey back? The killer stood here, fired twice at close range. Whoever Holiday is, he or she can always get up close, suggesting that the killer knows his or her victims. I've seen you get in pretty close without anybody noticing. Why the coroner, Batman? All the other killings were Falcone related. Can anyone account for the whereabouts of Harvey Dent at the time of the killings? Harvey? Why? You don't think. Hmm, that's odd. All the city's fireworks were set off earlier. Just some kids, probably. Right, Batman? Batman? I love fireworks. Me too. 
Makes me feel like a... a k k kid. Ooh, pretty colors. Sky... Fall down. M mommy The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They whip like anything to see such quantities of sand. If seven maids with seven mops swept it for half a year, do you suppose that they could get it clear? Mm, I doubt it. The king was in the counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. When down a blackbird... The money stays. You both go back to Arkham. On Mother's Day, Jonathan Crane, psychologist turned psychopath, escaped from Arkham Asylum, unleashing the Scarecrow on my city. He did not do this alone. He had help. Jervis Tetch, delusional, schizophrenic, homicidal, the Mad Hatter. Up until now, I thought they were acting alone, helping each other. But the bank, the money, all point to one man, the Roman. During the escape, I inhaled some of the Scarecrow's fear gas. My mind was violated. <laughs> My childhood fears of my parents' murders overcame me. <laughs> I try not to enjoy breaking Crane's ribs. And thick and fast they come at last, and more and more and more! <laughs> All hopping through the frothy waves, scrambling to the shore. Oh, my paws and whiskers! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, sorry, it's the only line from Alice I remember. You've been following me, at the police headquarters, on the docks. I love fireworks. I like the Cheshire Cat. I like all the money that's just sitting there. I know places, Batman. Things only I could show you. The Roman orchestrated all of this. Do you want to help? That's not what I had in mind. Your loss. No. The price of independence. Fears. Madness.